All right, so I have my um, I have all my assets in here, and now I just need to get ready to um, complete the the next uh, the next part. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take these. So I'm just going to kind of click, hold, shift, drag, and drag it to frame two. Um, the reason being is that frame one is going to be like our start screen. So that way, so we're going to start frame two. And then um, I have one, two, three, four, five um, items. I would suggest doing more if you're doing your game. Um, so basically what I need to do is make, uh, you see where it says current item here? Um, that's where I have all of my all of my um, things, all right? So the room's on this one, and I just locked it, and um, the search background's on this one. So the current items are the only thing I can even uh, play around with. Okay. So I'm going to make uh, five keyframes. So I'm just going to go to this one and hit F6. Or you can right click and insert keyframe. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to make a blank one because this will be our end screen. So I'm just going to do F7 or you right click and insert blank keyframe. Okay. And then with these, I'm just going to hold shift, click and drag. So I have both of them. Right click, insert frame. Okay. So however many... Um, pictures or you know elements you have to select is how many keyframes you're going to need all right but now we have that oh you know what actually i want to do this we got to remove these remove frames these have got to be blank ones so actually they don't even need to be there so just so they're extended for the full five because the last one again is going to be um the uh the, the the final like scoring screen okay so what i want to do is just on each one of these um, make them, now I'm going to do it the way that I was going to do it, but you can do it a little bit different. Um, so I want to make it so that the keys are the first thing that you're looking for. So I'm going to say the keys are the first one on this one. So I'm only going to leave the keys on this one. You can see they exist on all these keyframes. So that one I'm going to leave alone, but I'm going to delete this one, this one, this one, and this one. So only keys on here. Now I'm going to go to the next one, and I don't want keys on this one, and we'll make it, uh, it's the bottle, okay? So, actually, you know what? We'll make it um, this thing. So, I'm going to get rid of this one, this one, and this one. So, only the remotes are there. All right. Then, I'm going to get rid of this and the remote. And then, I'm going to make it so it's just these pens. And I'll get rid of these two. And then, I'm going to go here and get rid of uh, that one, this one, this one. And I think I'll leave this guy. And then the last one will just be the bottle. So I'm getting rid of everything but the bottles in the back. Okay. So if you look on every frame, there's only one of them is is on. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I just want to duplicate this to, so you can see the silhouette. I'm just going to kind of double use this this icon here. So I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag as I do this, or you can um you could just do Control C, Control V, and you can or Command C, uh, Command V. Uh, either way it works. I'm going to hit Q, or it's the free transform tool over here. I'm just going to make it bigger, like that, so that I can see the silhouette. And I'm just going to do that for all of them. So where's uh, it's this one here? I'm just going to hold Alt as I click and drag. And then I'm just going to, come on, there we go, scale this up so you can see it. Go to the next one, and it's these guys. I'm going to hold Alt as I drag it, and or Option is also on a Mac. Uh, go to the next one, and I'm going to again hold Alt, click and drag, bring that up, beautiful, and then the last one says bottle, bring it over here, come on, there, click and drag, okay, good, alright, so again, now you can see that each one of these little icons match that, but if you see it's not very good looking, so you could do other things if you want, you could actually draw the picture and have like legit it, um, or you could do you know, not do it at all. You could just say what the item is if you want to make it even harder. Uh, I'm just going to add a couple effects to these to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to select this, and then uh, in the properties panel, you'll see that we have these filters, which are kind of like effects layers in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to the filters, oops, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a drop shadow. Um, but I'm going to make it an inner shadow, so it goes on the inside, so you can kind of see uh, what that's doing there. Um, and then on the color, I'm just going to change the alpha to 50, so it's not white so strong um so that is okay and i'm at another filter these are the things i did on the other one i'm gonna do glow and i'm just gonna make that white 
and I'm going to take the alpha and make that 25%, and I'm going to take the blur and make it 10%, okay? So it just has, so it's just so it sticks out a little bit better, see how kind of now it looks like a little cut in almost? That's basically what I was going for. Um, and I'm just going to do the next one, so I'll select this, go uh, drop shadow, uh, click to make it inner, um, take this, make it uh, 50%. And then while I'm in here again, I'm going to do another one. That's going to be the glow one. And I'm going to go ahead and make that white. And I'm going to take the alpha and make that 25%. Um, and I want the blur to be 10. Okay. I'm going to pause the video and complete all of them because there's no sense in you watching me do it like a thousand times. Uh, so just do that and then um, I'll have it done in a second. All right. So now all of the um, these icons are done. You can see they look like that. Uh, yay. Now... The other thing I need to have happen is, you can see they're painted black here, so I'm going to take this one, um, the one that's on the actual item, and I'm going to go over here, and we're going to, um, under color effect, I'm going to go to alpha, and uh, I think it'll start at 100%. You can see basically it's transparency, so I'm going to take it all the way down. So it's still there, and you can see if I hit control enter to test this, you can see, oh, so I was playing through, but if you see it's... um. If I hover over, you can see it, it is a button. Like, it still hovers over it, so it still will function all the same. Um, and I'm just going to do that for all of them, so I'll just actually do that in here. So I'm going to select this one, and again, go to effect, alpha, to turn that one on. And then uh, it would be this, uh, just the one here, that guy, and effect, alpha, and then this one, alpha, and the last one. And alpha. Okay, so now um, they are not so, uh, you know, obvious and visible. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is on each one of these, I'm just going to go ahead and do um, item bottle. Uh, because we're going to need, this is going to be our name in order to um, select it. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, this is going to be our instance name, so that's how we're going to interact with it with the code. So. I'm just going to go through and give each of them uh, uh, a name. So right here, select that one. And we're going to call it um, item figure. And then I'll go to the next one. And what is it? Okay, the pen. So we'll do item pen. And then I'll go to the next one. And it's the remote. Um, item uh, remote. And then first one here and it'll be item keys okay so now I got all my items um, that's all working pretty good uh, now what I want to do is um, do some of the code I think I have most of it working at this point um, so let's set this up so the way we're gonna do is that every time I click on one of these I'm just gonna tell it to go to the next frame so uh, on the very first frame here, I'm going to um, open up my actions panel. So window actions or F9. And then I'm also going to open up the code snippets. And I am going to, while I have this selected, the keys here, we're going to go to um, the event handlers. Or actually, we don't want that one. We're going to go to timeline navigation. And it says click to go to frame and stop. That's what we want. Double click on it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and remove the uh, extra comments that we don't need. And I want this, if I'm on frame 2, I want to go to frame 3. I want to go to the next frame over. So I'm just going to say go to frame and stop 3. So it's going to go to frame 3 when I click on it. All right. Um, the other thing I want to do is, uh, right now it's just going to keep playing. <laughs> There's nothing to tell it to stop initially. Um, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and add um, a code snippets to stop at this frame as well. All right, so that way those are good. I'm going to, just to put this at the top to make it a little bit cleaner. All right, so stop, and then it's this. Okay, so it's going to stop, and then I'll do the other thing. And that's basically what we have to do for all of these. So I'm going to go to the next one, and it's going to be this item. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Code snippets, uh, go to frame and stop. We want it to go to frame, and this time it's going to be uh, four, okay? Because I'm on uh, when I'm on this one, I'm on frame three, so I want it to go to the next frame, which would be four. 
All right, and then we're going to grab this one. I'm just going to click on code snippets. Click to go to frame and stop. Just double click on it. There it goes. It pops up. And this one will be frame five is fine, actually. That's what I wanted. And then we're going to go to the next one here. And it's going to be this guy. I'm going to click on the code snippets. Go to frame and stop. All right, so I'm just doing for each one. And this time it's going to be six. Oops. Bad job there. Six. All right. And then we're going to go to the next one. Um, same thing as before. Code snippets. Go to frame and stop. Oh, didn't grab the thing yet, so grab the object, obviously. Uh, go to frame and stop, and uh, boom, 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 and that will be frame 7. Okay. So, if we were to play this, if I hit control enter or command enter, you'll see that basically um, when I click on something, it'll go to the next one, and, oh, sorry, it's this, right, and then I'll go to the next thing, and it's going to just go right down the line until we get to the end, all right? Uh, one of the things, I have this set up to, um, for the Android, but I don't really like the layout of that, so I'm actually going to go to my publish settings, and we're just going to go and oops, switch this to just uh, for desktop for now, and hit OK. And that way, when I hit Control enter uh, it'll kind of look what the size is. But you can see that more or less, uh, it works pretty, pretty OK. All right, until we get to the end. Yay! All right. So that's all functioning properly. Um, so now what I want to do is um, set up some other stuff. Um, so I want to set up a counter so I know how long this thing's lasting. Um, so that is going to be set up on the very first frame here. So I'm going to go to the actions. Uh, my first frame action script right here I select. Um, and we're going to code snippets. And we're going to, have to use the enter frame because uh, I want this, I want to every frame it to process so that it's always updating my um, my uh, clock. So I'm going to uh, click on um, enter frame and I'll get rid of this business here. And I'm just going to call this like um, clock counter maybe. Clock counter. It's always good to give it names. I didn't really bother doing it with the rest of them, but this one's fine to do that with. Um, and actually, even before I do this, I'm going to leave this here. Um, we need to have text that we actually can, you know, interact with. So I'm going to put one above current item here, make a new layer, and I'll just call it um, text. And we're going to go over here to the type tool and choose your fonts. I'm going to go ahead and make mine white. And I'm just going to, in here, I'm just going to write time left and um, I'm gonna say we'll give you 30 seconds okay something like that now one of the um, so I do that uh, now over here um, make sure you get up your font you do your color you do this uh, I have center alignment I think I'd rather do left alignment um, I also change this from um, multi-line no wrap to multi-line if it's multi-line no wrap what will happen is um, well, you can't see it now because it's not doing it. But uh, what it'll do is it won't uh, it won't go down. It'll just get cut off, which I'm going to have mine be multi-line. The next thing I need to do is click on embed and go on this um, because if we don't do this, then it won't uh, it won't know. And I'm just going to name it what it is. So Eras Bold ITC and hit OK. I did embed all of it, right? Yep. Okay. And then um, you got to make sure that it's dynamic. And then I'm just going to call this one um, time underscore TX, TXT. It's dynamite. Okay, so I'm just going to call this the time. Uh, that's how I'm going to interact with it. All right, so that is, uh, this is what I'm going to update. So I'm going to go to my actions, back to this, uh, make sure I select the frame, actions frame here. And now I got my little thing here, and I need to start making a counter. Okay, so. Um, all right, so I'm going to need a variable to, uh, to hold my time. So I'm going to do variable time left. All right, and it's going to be a number, and I'm going to set it equal to 30 because I'm just going to I'm going to say you have 30 seconds to complete the game. Now you can make it so you have as long as you want. You don't have to add a, you could just add a, a, a counter instead and go the opposite of the way that I'm going. But um, for now, uh, we're going to set that up like this. Okay, so I'm going to do. 
is this. I'm going to set up an if statement. Um, I'll just do it and then you'll see. If time left, which is this number up here, so if time left, which is currently 30, if it's greater than um, zero, right? So if they're, you know, start off with 30 seconds, it'll be 29 seconds, then so on and so forth. So as long as time is not zero, it's going to do what's inside this code, which is going to be time left minus equals current frame slash 24. All right. So what this is saying is whatever currently time is, so it'll start off at 30, for instance, minus equals. So take what time is and then subtract from it um, the current frame, which is whatever number frame we're on. So we're going to start frame one, then two, then three, then four, then five, and so on and so forth, all the way down, um, divided by 24, because there's 24 frames in a second. So basically, if I do it like this, um, it'll take 24 of them to take off one full time left. Okay. Um, and then what I need to do is actually tell it to, um, uh, to put on my, uh, to, to put it on that that text that we made so I'm gonna do time underscore txt dot text I want to change the text attribute of it I'm gonna set that we're gonna give it the value of time left left space okay plus and I want to make it uh, whatever time uh, left is right whatever the current time is is what I want it to be but that's not going to work because this is actually a number and it has to be a string it has to be words i know it doesn't make any sense but basically it, it's a different data so we actually have to convert it um to convert it you write string and you put it in parentheses and it will take whatever values in here be it a number or an int and it will convert it into text and then it can be applied now it still isn't going to work because it's going to give me a number code of like 0. 0.000 like a whole long string i don't want all that i want it just um just whole numbers so to do that um, I'm going to do math dot round time left. And what that's going to do is just going to round it to the closest whole number. Okay. Now this still isn't going to work because time left, uh, is this 30. Um, uh, so what I got to do is actually, um, do, uh, the same number again, 30 minus time left because I'm starting with 30 and then the time left is going to be lower and lower each time. So that's actually how this ends up being. Um, now, if we go ahead and test this, control enter or command enter, you'll see that uh, we got the time uh, going up. Okay, so that's uh, that's working pretty good. All right, let me. I wanted to go down though, actually. So I'm not 100 sure why. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do besides this? I also wanted to um, do plus and then space sec. So like, it's how many seconds? Uh, I like that a little bit better. All right. Um, but the, but the, but the, why are you? Let's do. Oops. Let's do plus. Plus. I did something wrong here. And I was turning at negative four. It should be minus. Mm, da, 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 minus time left time. Number is 30. That's weird. Let's double check. Let me. Left is 3, 4, 5, 6. Huh. There we go. I don't know why I did 30 minus. Um, so there you go. So it'll, it'll count down from that 30 seconds. So I uh, just switched it. I don't know why I put 30 minus. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, um, some time left, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to see that now it's going to count down um, like so. Yay. All right. So that works pretty good. Um, so that's going to count down. Um, so we got the basic mechanics there working. Um, now what I need to do, and we'll do it in the next one, is basically uh, keep track of the score and... Um, you know, had the game end, basically. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's what we'll do next. I'll do that in the next video.